what is up YouTube um, this is my Ford I was telling you guys about uh, if you guys didn't see any of the uh, previous videos this is a 88 F-150 with the 5.0 in it started up this morning and I hooked up my trailer and I was pulling to the back part of the property and when I got to the backyard I noticed it was leaking cooler all these hoses I have replaced recently there is a freeze plug right back here behind this alternator bracket. I have replaced that guy and I didn't see any coolant coming from the thermostat housing or the water pump itself right here. So upon further inspection, there is a little galley right here, right here. See that little seam line right there? A little bit of rust in it there's a very small leak there and it's filling up this whole pool right here and starts overflowing and it gets all over the belts and stuff like that starts squeaking like hell so I figure I make a video on it um, <clears throat> I thought maybe you know we just go ahead and tighten everything up so I went around and I went ahead and tightened all the um, water pump bolts and then I notice the guy that's held on back here is these bolts right here. I was like, oh, it's missing one. Cool, I'll just replace it. No. The bolt is snapped off in it. So I really don't have the time to be drilling and trying extractors and all kinds of stuff to get that out so I'm gonna do something my grandpa taught me um, it's a uh, two dollar fix well temporary fix we're gonna go ahead and try some ground black pepper in the radiator and see if maybe these flakes can't get in there and seal up that little pin gasket just to get me by for a little while uh, really really hoping it works but uh got the amazing goo i'm gonna go ahead and put some on my finger and kind of force it down in there and on top of the uh black pepper we'll see how she works all right now that we got the goo applied uh you can see it all smeared all over it right there um basically i put a big coat on the top but before i did that i put some on my finger and i try my best to like try and force it in the crack so Hopefully that helps in the sealing process. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and button her back up. Uh, put the tensioner pulley back on, put the belt back on, the hoses back on. Uh, fill her up with coolant and add some pepper and let her sit for a minute so that adhesive has some time to uh, dry up and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> All righty, now it's time for some black pepper. Got her just about all filled up. They usually say, you know, like one to two teaspoons, but I'm gonna put like three tablespoons just to be sure. and tablespoon all righty man I sure hope Pappy was right <laughs> I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the long run here we shall see belts on Holes fixed as best as I can get it now because I'm kind of on a budget. Um, keeping this off for a minute, we're going to run some uh, carb cleaner through it and uh, clean out the throttle body a little bit while we're at it. And I also went ahead and took the hose and flush radiator, the uh, heater cool heater core. The heater core was uh, a little stuffed up. The water didn't want to come out at first, but then it popped and went. So, you know that that could be a good possibility why that little pinhole started. It's just building too much pressure. So. All right, let's see what she does. I see. 
foam lubricant, and it also does wonders for the whole upper intake and the heads. It's been about an hour I've been running the truck. Um, the Shugu unfortunately did not do anything whatsoever. It started bubbling up and it pushed a little bit of water out. But I'll tell you what, it pushed water out for about 10 minutes and it's pretty much slowed to a stop. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do an update video tomorrow. Uh, I got a long truck to work. It takes me about 45 minutes to get to work. So after I take that drive, we'll do another video and uh, see where she sits. But so far, it really looks like the pepper's working. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.